New at six, more problems tonight for Redline Steel. Way 31 has confirmed the home decor company in Tanner is accused of workplace hazards. We sent our Way 31's Alexis Scott to the company to get answers. She joins us live tonight with what she learned. Alexis. Dan, Naja, no one from Redline Steel wanted to go on camera with me tonight, but they told me the allegations outlined in this three page letter from the state are false. The letter from Alabama's Occupational Safety and Health Administration, or OSHA, was sent to Way 31 by a man who claims to be a former employee. It's dated July 11th, and it OSHA says it received complaints about potential workplace hazards. Among them are temperatures reaching over 100 degrees due to no proper ventilation inside the warehouse, extension cords being chained together to provide power to equipment, and having no access to first aid supplies or safety stations such as an eye wash readily available. The letter states OSHA doesn't intend to conduct an investigation just yet. Instead, it's asking Redline Steel to look into the claims and to report back. We contacted OSHA, who told us it couldn't give us the documents, but it did confirm an open investigation, a request for Redline Steel to self-investigate the claims and to report back by July 18th. A spokesperson for the manufacturing company told me the claims in the letter are false, but they are cooperating with OSHA and will meet next Thursday's deadline. They said the building does get hot in the summer, but they have purchased more industrial fans and always have a refrigerator full of water. The company told me there is no threat to employee safety or well-being. The company told me as of today they have new management and are actually fully staffed. Now, as far as the letter OSHA sent to the company, um, we filed a request through the Freedom of Information Act and we'll let you know when we have it. Reporting live in Tanner, Alexis Scott, Wait 31 News.